YouTube, Rumble, Twitter, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to do something a little bit different and I kinda of wanna relish in some of the victories that we have achieved. Now, I'm not one who likes to celebrate early. I feel like that's kind of like bad karma. I don't really necessarily believe in karma, but sometimes it's like the only explanation for some things that happen. But the culture war, you guys, make no mistake, still continues. I'm sure every time you open up your Twitter feed or whatever it is you're looking at for your news or whatever, I'm absolutely positive that you're seeing battle after battle. I think for maybe morale's sake, we all need to sit back sometimes and kind of, and kind of enjoy our victories that we've gotten. Because I think without acknowledgement of what we've accomplished, I think it's only going to weigh down on our minds. We're going to start feeling overwhelmed and just kind of over it. You know what I mean? For those who don't know, I'm 32 years old. So I've been on this planet for a little while. I watched this country and the world shift in so many different ways over the short period of time I've been here. And I don't know, maybe when I was young and naive, I didn't really understand what was actually happening in the world. But I can tell you without a doubt, at least from my perspective, I've never seen a cultural war, anything quite like this. But being on the side that's wanting to protect children, I think it's important that we keep our morale up and we stay focused on what the main goals are here. So this video, I just want to take a quick look at some headlines and just, you know, put some thoughts in. Just want to take a quick look at a few of our accomplishments so we can remember what it is that we're fighting for. Now, the first one I have to highlight, obviously, is going to be the Dylan fiasco with Bud Light. Now, the reason why, other than the money, I think this one was the most substantial is because it wasn't really like a left or right issue going on here. I've spoken to multiple people on both their respective camps, and a lot of them came to the same conclusion for a number of different reasons. My reason was not the transgenderism, aside from the wearing the woman face thing and pretending to be, but my main issue, and I made it perfectly clear was Dylan Mulvaney's audience and the fact that Dylan Mulvaney was giving a partnership with Bud Light who sells alcohol. And it's no surprise that Dylan Mulvaney's audience was children. And week after week since April 1st, 2023, we've been seeing Bud Light taking huge losses, upwards of 20 or more percent, reflecting from the year previous. And as of recording this video, it looks like Bud Light is down $27 billion. Now, I realize the company is not going anywhere anytime soon. I'm not stupid. But $27 billion is nothing to gawk at. And I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty proud of us all. We've made some serious moves here. Obviously, a big W, no dispute. The next big W, at least for me, is the Target boycotts that have been going on. Now, this one's quite recent. Target trying to sell pro-transgender merchandise to children, essentially. Now, I'm not going to go into all the details of what they were trying to sell because there's a kind of a mix of information. For instance, like the tucking bathing suit, Target was trying to say it wasn't marketed towards children. But when you do look at the sizes and the design, it seems to be not so true. But I can't say definitively, so I'm not going to die on that hill. Now, in terms of the most recent numbers I can find, it looks like Target is down $15 billion. Now, I want you to keep this in mind. This one's really new. That is a lot of money in a short period of time. This one, it was pretty big to me. The reason being shoving these things down our throats and even worse, the children's throats. I in no way hate trans people. I in no way have an issue with them, especially those who are actually suffering through the mental disease of gender dysphoria. I empathize with them fully. Now, don't forget the person who designed these products for Target was Eric Carnell, a known Satanist, a known transgender activist artist who did a lot of satanic imagery and products. As much as the Washington Post wants to tell you guys otherwise, believe me, that's exactly what he does. Now, granted, this design was not sold necessarily in Target because obviously this would have been a terrible idea, even worse than what the other one was. It's just not a good look. It's one thing if something's like a rainbow color, but it's another thing when you're actually putting propaganda on the front of shirts of children. Now, the last thing I want to obviously cover is what's happening recently with Activision. Now, this is an issue I highlighted two videos ago, so I do urge that you guys watch that video. But this one has to do with Nick Merckx, a popular gamer, a popular streamer, who had used the words, they should just leave little children alone. And of course, the extremists in the LGBTQ plus community took that as offense. Now, with them removing his operator bundle in the game, there have been a few updates since, such as Tim the Tapman, another predominant streamer and gamer, had stated that Nick Merckx is a good friend of his, and then had requested that Activision or Call of Duty remove his bundle as well. This one is an ongoing battle, so there's a lot that might happen or not happen. We'll just have to check in and see what's going on later. But you guys, these are some of the battles that are seemingly going quite well. So I say celebrate a little. The more and more I've become terminally online, it's becoming abundantly clear there are a lot more people on our side than I actually initially thought. We simply just need to stay strong because there are a lot more battles to come. But you guys, that's all I have for this video. Please let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below. But please do not forget to like or dislike the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell because obviously some of the topics I go over are a little spicy and YouTube likes to push me down a little bit. And that's totally fine. I will continue to make videos regardless. But I do appreciate your guys' time as always. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.